Welcome to this focus group about international participants who participated in University of Minnesota provided MOOCs during the spring of 2013. If you are answering this focus group, it's because you also answered the pre-post survey and the international student survey. We appreciate all the data that you shared with us. And we hope through these five questions, one per day, that we'll be able to even further understand your experience as an international student. These questions ask from your experience how it compares to a non-international student, and by that we mean somebody that doesn't live in the United States, and um, how did your cultural differences emerge during your participation. We also would like to know a little bit more about the difficulties you faced where you live right now, and how you address these difficulties, or what can we do to address these difficulties. This could be from internet connectivity to um, zone differences, time zone differences. So there are various issues, work-related balance, that may come across that have been a problem for you. Uh, those issues that you came across that are a problem for you, how can we address them? That's what the second question tries to get at or discuss. The third question is more about how do we make the MOOC more relevant to you locally? So MOOCs may be emphasizing too much the United States, and maybe they could also emphasize other parts of the world. We'd like to know more about how you think we can make MOOCs more relevant to the world, and what can be improved to make it more appealing to people where you live. Four, how do MOOCs affect your professional development? How was the social networking within MOOCs? Were you able to meet more people, and how can we even make it better so that it is more relevant to you as a professional? Um, MOOCs can have that possibility. There's thousands of students all in the same environment, and hopefully they become more meaningful for professional development. We wanted to learn more about your experience in terms of professional development and how we can improve that experience. And lastly, help us think of ways in which the MOOCs can be more meaningful for you in the country where you reside. So think of the MOOCs and think of them 5, 10 years, 15 years down the line. How, will we, how can we improve massive open online courses so they're more meaningful every day and the next round of University of Minnesota courses is even better. To answer questions, just look at the question and then click answer question here. That will take you to the forum. There's one per question. Click there and then you can read the question once again. Hit reply. You'll be able to reply to the question. Reply. Post to forum. Try to keep your responses. You can keep them as, lar as long as you want to. However, the longer they are, the more that other participants may not read it. So we do suggest that if you can keep it within 100 and 200 words, that'd be great. And then if you could come back to a discussion that same day and comment on other people's posts, that'd be even better. We hope that you can comment at least on three more posts every day. We are looking for you to participate and share as much as you want to so that we can improve MOOCs. Um, so if there's also elements that you would like to bring to the discussion that you feel we are missing, that we're not really getting at an important point of the question, then ask us that or share it in the forum. Um, at the end of each day, and again, you can reply both to the question or the replies, and they'll be threaded. But at the end of each day, I will go and summarize the discussion. But that's one summary, and we'll hope to make it as good as we can each summary. However, Feel free to um, comment on the summary as well and share your opinion on the summary in terms of what did we miss, uh, what could be added to the summary. And that's uh, the, this focus group. We hope you enjoy participating with us these five days. If you have any questions, please leave us a, a message or email us or call us and we'll try to get back to you as quick as we can. This platform allows for messaging as well, so you can message us through the platform as well. Thank you.